Hi, I'm Crafty Patty. Thanks for tuning in to watch another fun sewing video. Years ago, I bought these reusable shopping bags and I love how they are lightweight and they fold up into the little pocket. Then I can just pop them in my purse, ready to go, always have a shopping bag. And like how many times have we said, oh, I forgot my bags in the car. So I had a really good look at how they made this bag. And then I redesigned it so I could make my pattern for you. And then I'm going to take you step by step to complete your reusable fabric shopping bag that folds into a pocket. So keep watching and let's get started. I'm using 100% cotton for my bags and uh, in Canada this particular cotton a lot of them come in a 45 inch width which is perfect to fit the bags that we're going to be sewing today. You're going to want to pre-wash your fabrics and they will shrink down. So the 45 inch will still give you enough to do the bag that we're making. This particular one has a pattern and uh, that will be just fine because I want my pattern to run up and down and the flowers will be going up and down this way. If you do have a pattern that runs the other way, then easy enough to fold your fabric in the other direction like so. And if you've bought the one meter, then you will have enough to place your bag this way. You can use a piece of newspaper, tissue paper, parchment paper, whatever you've got around. And um, what you want to do is you want to cut out a rectangle 19 inches wide by 25 inches long. And once you've done that, you're going to come in and you're going to come up to the, this is going to be the top of my bag. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to measure five inches on both sides. So here's my five inch mark here, and here's my five inch mark on this side. I'm then going to measure down eight inches. So here's my eight inch mark here. And here's my eight inch mark here. And then we can just come through and make a line across. And now I'm using my OmniGrid ruler so I can tell that I'm parallel, so I can match up with my line. Now you can take a drinking glass or a cup or a can, whatever you like, and I'm just using this to round my corners. So I'm just getting the glass to butt up to this line and butt up to this line and then I will just draw in my corner, like so. And same for the other side. We will be needing to mark off how far we're going to sew up for the size of our bag. So you're going to measure up 15 inches and just make a mark. Again, this was five inches across and this was five inches across and this was eight inches down. Now the only thing that you have to cut out is this center piece. So I'll just go ahead, I've just got my rotary cutter handy so I'll just use this. You can certainly use scissors. Our center cut out and that's basically all you need for your bag pattern. We will be making a pocket like this 
So you can fold up your bag and carry it and have it inside your purse or your backpack ready to go. So we will need to cut out one rectangle. So just cut out a rectangle, 12 inches long, 7.5 inches wide. You're going to place your fabric right sides together and chances are you will have a salvage. We're going to cut that salvage part off. I'm just going to bring my nice clean cut edge over to the edge here. And that will be my, my one edge of my bag. And we'll just clean up my top edge here and make a nice straight line across. Just make sure that you have enough to fit in your pocket. So I'll just bring this down a bit. And there we go. We've got enough for our pocket in there. And again, I love my rotary cutter. So I can just go right along my pattern piece and cut this out. Now, I have folded my fabric in half because I do need two of the bag portion, but I only need one of these. But that's okay because maybe in a future video, I'm gonna show you what I do with my scraps of fabric. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, so once you've got your pocket cut out, just remove that. And now we can come in and cut out our bag. So just remove your pins from the top here and come down and place it to mark your fabric on the other side of that 15 inch mark. Now we're ready to sew. The first thing we're going to do for sewing is with right sides together. We are going to sew across the top of our top parts of our handles with a 5 8 inch seam. Now on both sides of our bag up to our 15 inch marking, we're going to make flat felled seams. You can add a few pins if you prefer, just to keep it uh, the edges together. This is our 15 inch mark that we placed our pins when we were cutting out our pattern. So we can start sewing just below that and we're going to again make our 5 8 inch seam allowance. We can take out our 15 inch marker pins because we've sewn up to that point. And now we're going to iron the seam open. And now you're gonna cut only one edge 
up to the 15 inch mark and you're going to cut it between an eighth and a quarter inches. Be very careful not to cut the outside fabric. And once you get to your 15, 15 inch mark, we can just cut it straight across. Now I find by pressing everything, it just makes the job so much easier. I'm going to fold over so it just comes into the seam allowance here, which is approximately a quarter inch. And I'm going to press that in place. The idea is that this portion is going to get enclosed in to here, so it makes a little bit of a pocket, like so. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to force this edge over into that middle. And again, you don't have to do the pressing, but it really does help with your sewing. It just makes life a little easier. So again, from this view for a close-up, here's our middle seam. I've pressed this one over. We've creased this one so it makes a nice easy edge to come over that middle one, like so. And then we just fold it over again and we're going to pin that in place. And do that all the way along. And this is where I've cut into it on this side. I cut out a little bit of the corner. Again, right directly opposite, I will also cut into this side as well so we can continue our flat felt seam. And again, I love to press my work before sewing. It just makes the sewing, as I've said a thousand times, so much easier. I'm just pulling out my seam allowance just so it's nice and open. And now we're ready to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew along the outer edge of the flat felt seam. So I'm going to start at the top because I always like to have my sewing edge on this side. So let's take out that first pin a little bit and come up right to our other side, which was right at the 15 inch mark. And I've put my needle in close to the edge as possible. And make sure you don't catch anything underneath. You've got the handle underneath here. Make sure that doesn't get caught up in your sewing. So as I'm sewing along, I'm just going to be giving it a little bit of a pull this way and make sure that's a nice open seam. Again, back stitch, and away we go. Sewing as close as you can to the outside and make sure you don't go off. And there you have a nice flat seam creating no bulk because that's what we're trying to do is not have any bulk. So you've got your original seam here and then we've brought it over and made our flat felt seam with the stitch line along. That's your outside and then your inside. You can just see it folded over and it's stitched along the edge. And do exactly the same thing on your other side of your bag. Here's our 15 inch markers. So we can just take those out 
place it back in to sew, or sorry, to, to uh, place our two sides together. A couple pins to hold it in place, and we'll go to the sewing machine and sew that 5 8 inch seam allowance again. So where we've come up to our 15 inch point where we made our flat felled seam, I'm going to, well, come in closer here so you can see, is I'm actually going to snip right up to my 5 8 inch seam. Probably easier to show on this side for you. And there's our 5 8 inch seam right there. So I'm just going to make sure that my fabric is cut up right up to the 5 8 inches, right up to there. And the same with this side here. You can see where it's just sitting right here. I want it to cut up right to the edge here. So be careful not to cut into anything underneath there. Right up to there. So now we've got both those edges cut right up to the edge of that flat felled seam. Now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew these two pieces together and sew close along the edge. Start sewing from this edge because it'll be a lot easier to come from a solid piece of fabric to just the edges. So come from this side and we're starting to sew right here. This is our side of our bag, and this is the part where we've just sewed those two little sides together. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold over a quarter inch, fold over again, and you can either pin or iron in place. Now I have a nice little ironing board so I'm just going to place this right over the end and that makes it easier for ironing. So they were folding in and then it's going to come right over that felt seam. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew along this edge. If you have a sewing machine that will allow you to just have the smaller arm, now is the time to take that off right over and so much easier for sewing. And now do exactly the same thing to the other side. Okay, we've got our both our sides done with our nice flat felt seams. We've now done this portion of our handle on both sides. And now we're gonna turn under this middle part of the bag, that middle section of your bag over the small end of your ironing board and fold over about quarter inch or more, it doesn't matter. This isn't important how far that goes over. And iron in place, and we will then sew that on the sewing machine. So just go around your whole bag and iron in place. And again, sew close to your edge and backstitch. Now we're going to work on the handles of our bag. 
what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half. It's wrong side right now is up. We're folding in half so we can encase our raw edges. Match up your sewing seams and pin in place. And now what we're going to do is only sew down three inches from that seam. So I'll just take my little measuring gauge here and we're going to measure down three inches and place a pin. That's as far as we're going to sew down. We'll do the same on the other side, measuring from our seam down to three inches and place a pin. And now we'll just sew along and match up to where your pin marked your three inch mark. And we can sew just in between our edge and that last stitching line. So right in the middle of the two is where I'm going to stitch. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other side. And now still with right sides together, it's time to sew up the bottom of the bag. So we're going to go along and sew a 5 8 inch seam allowance again. And we will be doing a flat belt seam on this edge. So back to the sewing machine and sew your 5 8 inch seam. Because we're going to be making flat felt seams, we need to cut this down to the seam allowance. So taking your scissors, you're going to come right in and cut right on the edge here, cut just down to your seam allowance, to where you sewed your seam. So it's cut open. And do the same on the other side. So we're going to be cutting one of these down close to the sewing line. So, so you don't make a mistake and cut into both fabrics, which I have done before. I'm going to iron this open and just keep it out of the way. So you're cutting close, close to your um, sewing edge and then up to about a quarter inch. So let's flip that over now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this right over that cut edge. So I'm bringing it up right up to the sewing line is where I'm ironing. Right, and then we're just going to fold over one more time. And now you'll have your sewing edge. You'll see it right on the top there, your sewing line. And then we'll take that to the sewing machine and sew along the edge again. Now, while we're still on the bottom of the bag here, to make this really easy pleat on the side of your bag, all you need to do is now fold over two inches and we're going to sew that down and sew it in place.
And the same on the other side. So there's our bag with our sewn bottoms. And so let's now reverse it to the right side. And then by sewing in those edges, you get this automatic little pleat in your bag that's perfect match up with your handle. I just think that's pretty cool. And uh, now we can just give it a nice little pressing. there we have perfect little shopping bag and with the automatic little side gussets so let's make the darling little pocket that this folds into okay so get your 12 inch by 7.5 piece of material that you've cut out from the first part of our tutorial and we're going to fold over the top approximately half an inch. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to fold that over. Now we're going to bring that down and we're going to bring it down about an inch and a half. And iron that in place. And while we're here, let's go down to the bottom. We're going to fold that over a half an inch. And again, another half an inch. And let's take that to the sewing machine and we're going to sew close to this edge and we're going to sew close to this edge. So as close to this edge as you can. And while you're here, come down and sew up your bottom edge as well. This is the step you can't forget to do, otherwise it won't work. Turn it over to the right side now and flip this top edge down and you're going to push it right up to your sewing edge and iron in place. Now we're bringing up the bottom edge to the top edge. You can iron that in place if you wish. And now we're going to sew our 5 8 inch seams on both sides. We're going to be making our flat felled seams on both sides again. So in order to do that, we will need to come in and cut to our sewing edge on both sides and we're going to open this up and I'll just press that in place on the side and the same on the other side I'm going to press that seam in And 
And now because I've got more bulk on this side than this side, this is the side I'm going to cut off. So come in. Same on this side. I'm going to choose to cut the bulkier side off, which is this side because it's got the extra flap over, and trim that off. Now again, as before, we're going to iron this up to the sewing line. And over one more time. And the same for the other side. And back to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew close to this edge here. And the same on the other side. I will start sewing on the less bulky end. And we'll reverse it, a little bag, and with a little flap that will close up on our bag. And I'll show you how that works. So here's the top part of our bag. There's the little pocket that we just sewed. We want this flap part facing down. And we're going to put that to the inside of our, of our bag. Just match up where your center is, but we're not going to attach this side. We're going to attach this side. So this side here is the side you want to bring up to this seam and pin in place. So we won't sew all the way to the edge. We'll sew up to about a half an inch to the edge. All right, so I'm just going to sew close to the edge here and we'll sew along. Now, before you start sewing, just check underneath and make sure this is not attached. This has to be remain open. So bring that right open to start your sewing edge and then line it up close to the edge. Back stitch and sew along close to your edge to your last pin. So here's your pocket that you've just sewn in, and this always lives on the inside of your bag. Let's give it a little press hole in here. All right. Now, if you want to fold this all up, this bag flips open like so. Let's turn it around so you can see. We're going to fold our handles down to the edge of our bag and then we're just folding in thirds so there's a third and then we're folding over into a third again and then what I like to do is just do a little bit of a roll just a loose roll And then I tuck it into the pocket. So 
it's nice and neat. And then when you're done fitting it all in there, what we do is we take our little edge here, we flip it over the top, and we've now enclosed our shopping bag. So it's a complete little package. I just love this. Look at that.